Hey guys, I'm Remington Van Houten. I'm a photographer from Central Alabama and I'm going to be showing you how to use the crop tool today in Lightroom Mobile. Um, so I use the crop tool as one of the first things that I do. Um, so the first thing you'll do is obviously hit the crop button. You'll jump into it. Um, usually what I always start off with is there is a straighten button that you'll see and I usually tap that and Lightroom has a really good auto detection system um, if you're shooting any kind of buildings or horizons or whatever it'll automatically straighten that out however for this photo it's not super applicable um, so the next thing that I do after that is I go to the custom button over here and this controls your aspect ratio so right now it's set in the custom setting which means that you can move this to whatever kind of photo you want it to be as far as the aspect ratio size and that kind of thing um, usually I put this into 4x5 because that's what Instagram's settings are. So that's typically what I start out with, although if I'm printing it for my own personal use or that kind of thing, usually I do 2x3. Um, I just like the way that looks better. It's a little bit taller and feels a little bit more full. Um, but we'll go with the 4x5 aspect ratio for right now. Um, so then after that... Uh, the other buttons, uh, obviously you can flip it horizontally, you can flip it vertically if you like, um, but obviously those aren't super useful for me right now. This uh, dial compass thing that you see under the picture, uh, that's where you can take the photo and you can rotate it one way or another. Um, if you wanted, a say a photo had a horizon and it needed to be leveled out, um, that's what that is, but usually I just set that straight back to zero. Um, if it doesn't need it sometimes it does it just depends on your photo that you're editing so um that's it appreciate it like and subscribe um, i'm gonna have more tutorials coming on lightroom mobile here soon thanks